Hi. This is the Kaim Elastics Gimbal Support. Now it comes uh, as an option when you buy the, uh, the Kaim Argo. Uh, I think it's around 688 US. And it's basically just a support for the gimbal itself. The gimbal weighs 2.8 kilos, uh, plus you can have a 3 kilo camera load, so if you put a monitor on top, you can get up to around six kilos. Now holding six kilos out in front of you for any length of time can get pretty uh, wearing. So this is what this particular unit's designed for. You'll notice all the new came cases seem to have these uh, more secure latches, which is pretty good. So let's have a look what's in here. The first thing that comes out is actually the brace itself. Uh, that goes over your shoulders. Uh, and that strap goes behind your neck so, so it's uh, to sit over your shoulders like that. All right, and you'll notice that there are buckles at the, the front and back with the clips on them. We have a lumbar support at the back and you'll note that has two clips, so our little, uh, the shoulder mount secured with that. Uh, now this lumbar support at the back mounts to this support at the front, and that has a, um, a mount to hold the, uh, uh, the gimbal support itself that actually screws into the, uh, the support. So you wind that on, that locks it in place. Um, and as well as uh, connections at the front here and at the back, we also have straps here to actually connect to the gimbal itself. So I'll take this out in the field and, uh, and get some shots so you can see how it looks. But that's basically the brace for it and here's the support itself. Now let's just bring these, uh, these handles are of course adjustable to, to any width you want. So let's bring them out to make it seem uh, look a bit easier to, uh, well, a bit easier to have a look at. Okay so that's where this mount goes, that screws into there. So you can see then that's sitting off the front like that. We have handles that we can um, adjust out to any width, in any angle, it's all toolless. That's where the uh, these thin clip supports go, onto those. And you'll notice that we have both a top mount and a bottom mount. So the gimbal can actually mount, we'll take the, the mount off here and that mounts underneath so that we, let's say we call that low mode which would be about knee height and then we reverse it and put it on top and so we've got eye height or a bit higher. So it's like a, a single steady cam arm that does move up and down. That's not going to uh, um, isolate any movement that you've got with the gimbal, you're still going to have to, to move fairly steadily, but it's simply there to take the weight. The whole structure there is meant to take the weight if you're using the gimbal for any length of time, just as a support structure. So what I'll do is I'll take this out in the field uh, and you can at least see it kitted up uh, and we'll, uh, we'll give it a test and see how it works. Thanks.